students this is our last program in cpl lab on um, that is converting decimal number to binary the question is i have to implement recursive function for decimal to binary conversion uh, you know a decimal number is to the base 10 and binary number is to the base 2 right decimal number means i'll have from 0 to 9 binary number it is just 0 and 1 and here if I want to convert on decimal to binary I have to divide the decimal number by 2 since I am converting to binary I have to divide the decimal number by 2 Eta. so I will explain the logic of uh, decimal to binary conversion first so suppose if 17 if I want to 17 is a decimal number you know it and if I want to convert this 17 to binary, what I have to do? First, divide 17 uh, by 2. And you write the quotient here and write the reminder. When I divide 17 by 2, quotient will be 8 and reminder will be 1. Next, this quotient will become the number and divide that uh, number by 2. And quotient is 4, reminder is 0. See, in class, in maths, you would have used this, you will tell DA method, right? Uh, you will be re, uh, repeat, repeated division, repeated division. Next, you will take this and divide by 2, quotient will be 2 and reminder is 0. Again, it is repeated division. Take this quotient as the number and divide by 2, quotient is 1 and reminder is 0. And then when you divide 1 uh, by 2, quotient becomes 0 and 1 is the reminder. And I have to write the result from uh, last to up. Right? Uh, so here it is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Right? So my first reminder will be LSB. LSB means it should come at the right hand side. And last digit should be my MSB. MSB is most significant bit that it should come as the left side. So from uh, right uh, left to right means this should be the leftmost digit then 0, 0, 0, 1. From bottom to up I have to <coughs> write. Now coming to this program, uh, I have included the header files and here uh, as the question says, I have to implement recursive functions. Sir. Now, what do you mean by recursive function? Function calling itself is known as recursive function. So, here also along with main, I am having one more function known as convert decimal to binary. Convert decimal to binary. So, we are having two programs with functions. Uh, one is prime and the other one is this one. Right. So, uh, you can write the functions um, after the header file, fun complete function definition after the header file. If you are writing the main function first, uh, um, before the main, you have to declare your function because uh, where inside the main, when you call this function, when you call this function, your uh, program may not be knowing that you have such a function. It will show you error. For that, what you can do is like uh, if you are writing the main function first, uh, you have to do the declaration that there is a function after main. I am just indicating. Otherwise, what you can do, you can uh, write the function definition first and then you can write the main as we have written in the prime function. First, you can write the function definition, then you can write the main function. If you want to write the main function first, just you have to uh, declare this function. Declaring the function is nothing but your return type function name. If there is any argument, you can specify that and it should be end with a semicolon. This is function declaration. What is this complete thing? This complete thing is your function definition. And what about this one? This is nothing but your function call. So, three things function declaration function definition and function um, call. Function call is you are calling the function. From here control directly comes to the function. And uh, where you are writing the complete uh, function, 
that is that becomes the function definition or i can say as function body and what about this thing this is nothing but function declaration when you are writing the function definition function definition after the mean i have to declare it if you don't want to declare what you can do after the header file just write the function definition first then you can write the main function clear so uh, we are starting with main and you are asking the decimal number from the user you are reading it through scan of statement and here uh, this is my function call you are calling this function with this n value immediately control comes here and what i have to do as i told this uh, method right the decimal to binary conversion is repeated division that da method repeated division so uh, in repeated division what i have done every time i will divide the number by 2 why am i dividing by 2 because i am converting decimal to binary since i am converting decimal to binary i have to divide by 2 and the quotient will become the next number for dividing and the remainder i will uh, keep as it is and at last that remainder will be my binary number so every in every step uh, what quotient you are obtaining that quotient will be the number to divide in the next step right uh, and this uh, i'll put it in a while loop and this while loop will repeat until uh, n becomes zero if n becomes zero it comes out of this while loop uh, and here uh, as you know if i want the remainder in programming language i am supposed to use this modulus operator so remainder is when i divide uh, when i take n modulus 2 i'll get the remainder how to get the quotient uh, n here uh, this is written in a short way if you want you can elaborately write that is n is equal to n divided by 2 n is equal to n slash 2 that is written short right uh, and here binary number is equal to binary number plus remainder into i remainder into i so here now uh, as i said here uh, this is at last i have to write the number from bottom to top so this will be in my one place this will be in my 10th place 100 place 1000 place and 10000 place as it goes on right uh, so first remainder it should be in my one place second remainder it should be in my 10th place so what i'll do here in my program is binary number is equal to binary number plus right it is in short form binary number is equal to binary number plus remainder into i right remainder into i in first step i is equal to 1 and in the next step right next remainder it should be in its 10th place right so what i have to do i have to multiply here also i is equal to i into 10 right i is equal to i into 10 so uh, in the next iteration this quotient will become my n so n modulus 2 will be my remainder so to the previous binary number this current remainder into i will be 10 so in the next step keep i incremented so 10 into 10 it becomes 100 so next remainder it should be multiplied by 100 right uh, likewise it goes on and at last i will be returning my binary number what is the data type of binary number long long so here return type will be long long return type will be long long so this binary number comes uh, this is the function call right uh, so comes here and i will be printing this binary number hope it is clear so all this it is in short form you can write n is equal to n divided by 2 binary number is equal to binary number plus a uh, remainder into i and what about this one it is i is equal to i into 10 what for this i for that place value first decimal it should be in one place i is equal to 1 next in uh, remainder it should be in its 
10th place so increment i students we can see the output for decimal to binary conversion same online c compiler type the program click run and it will ask your number you can just give it one minute right uh, so one four zeros one one is the binary value right uh, so 45 the corresponding binary value is 101101 that's all students thank you